My name is Michelle Ritchie. Today I'm going to be talking about a study my research methods class did this semester, fall 2017, at St. Edwards University. The research question of the first study we did was how does passive and active social media use relate to positive affect, negative affect, and life satisfaction? This entailed the examination of social media uses effects on life, satisfaction, and positive affect, as well as negative affect. My hypothesis was that the passive social media use has a negative correlation on life satisfaction transcending most group, groups of ages, with an exception to late life adults. Our class posted our Qualtrics survey on our social media sites and ended up with 455 participants to analyze. We found that hours spent using passive social media use were negatively correlated with life satisfaction. There were no other significant relationships found. After study one was complete, we started study two to examine causality. The purpose of our second study was to test for causal relationships to describe the positive correlation between positive emotion and active social media use. Before starting the project, I did not create a hypothesis. This was an exploratory study. After posting our second Qualtrics survey to our social media sites, we ended up with 54 participants to analyze. There are no significant interactions with gender and emotion condition affecting passive social media use. We ran a second 2x2 two two between subjects ANOVA to test how emotion condition and gender affect active social media use. We found a significant main effect for emotion condition. We also found that about 8% of the variance in active social media use was caused by our emotion manipulation in this study. Now I'd like to talk about what all of this means. The first study that we did is relevant in today's day and age because of the sheer prominence of social media. Finding a correlation between passive social media use and lower levels of life satisfaction may inspire a change in the method of social media use used, and in order could cause higher levels of life satisfaction. The causal study that we conducted has the potential to help spread a message that social media use may aid in positive emotion if used actively. The second study we did is relevant in today's day and age because finding a causal relationship shows that either the positive emotion causes active social media use or active social media use causes positive emotion. If further studies are conducted to explain why this is, spreading positive emotion could be a possibility. In the current study, we found a causal relationship between positive emotion and active social media use. It is not clear which caused the other, however, there are many theories, so I'm going to get into that now. Since we used a mood induction to induce positive mood in our study, it is possible that when one's mood is positive, they seek active social media use, such as posting, to continue their heightened mood. In addition, another idea is that maybe when people have a more positive mood, their inhibitions are lower, making it more likely for them to share on social media. And that concludes my presentation.